Hello, my name is Priska Osegali of Gold Imperial Academy. Today I'll be illustrating how to achieve this pattern. Someone asked for the illustration of this pattern, so I decided to make a video so I can also show you how to achieve this. I have my basic bodies here. I have mirrored it, so I have a full basic bodies pattern. Alright, so I've made my dress pattern using the A-line foundation method, okay? I've shaped it out from my raised knee. So the next thing to do is to determine where I want my asymmetry to be. From the dress design, the asymmetry was on the left side. So I'll be drawing out my line from there. I'll be using my curved ruler to achieve the curve. You can use your free hand if you're able to manage that. Okay. So I'm using this that point as my guideline. Okay. Since the curve started from the hip point, or somewhere around the hip point, so. Okay. Now you can adjust your curve till you are able to get what you are comfortable with. I have drawn the curve into the raised knee line, okay, like so. Okay, so now you can cut this out. But before I do that, I'll quickly tighten my under bust. So I'll be using the armhole princess style line. Mark the length of my under bust. So. Connect in a line. Okay. All right, so here we are. I have mirrored what I have on the left to the right side as well. You can see I've tightened both sides and I have also redrawn my underarm dart and also drawn out my armhole princess style line. So right now I'll be cutting out this part and then slash and spread to create fullness. Okay, so if you are having a half length seam line, all you have to do is come down one inch from your initial waistline, mark that line and cut on that line. Otherwise, you have to extend your dart all the way to your raised knee, okay, or wherever your curve stops so that you'll be able to manipulate your dart away or take out your dart on your side seam. To have uniformity on your pattern, you can tighten your underbust on one side and then use your tracing wheel to trace out on the other side so that you have uniformity. So I've gone ahead and then separated my pattern in two like so, okay? And then I have also creased this, okay? So that I can have uh, my crease lines. All right, so I'll go ahead and pencil this out and then cut them out, 
all right i'm going to be slashing to the edge of the paper i will not be slashing all the way just to the edge of the paper and then tip it onto another paper so that we can now cut that on fabric and attach back when we sew this okay so here it is i have penciled it out you can see it okay so the next thing will be to slash these lines don't slash to the end of the paper just to the tip okay so that you can spread it out to create some fullness here we are i have slashed my pattern okay and i have also numbered it i like to do this so in case anyone separates i'll be able to fix it right back to where it belongs so i'll be taping this to a larger piece of paper now the beauty of slash and spread is that i can determine the fullness that i want i can decide to spread this equally okay or i can decide that i want more fullness on one part and spread that wider than the other part fixing more fullness on that wider part than on the smaller part okay so i'll be taping this to this paper right now come back and show you wow so here we are all right i've spread this out on my paper and also connected the spread like so So if I were paneling this, okay, it will look like so. But if I were to section it, I'll be cutting on this line. All right. So if I were sectioning this, I'll cut on this line. But to panel, I'll cut all the way to my raised knee right here. So that by the time I join it back, it will look like so. And I'll be able to insert this back. So I hope you found this useful. Please let me know how it came out when you tried it out. Thank you so much for watching. I am Priska Oserali.